Okay, what am I doing today? Today I am preparing a marinade. I usually just cook my meat in a frying pan, covered frying pan, salt and pepper, maybe um, some other seasonings. And then when I take it out, I might put a little barbecue sauce on or something. But I think marinating it would be better. So I looked up some nice marinade recipes for pork chops. And I found two that are very similar, so I've decided to kind of combine them. Now, one recipe says um, one third cup soy sauce. And the other recipe says a quarter cup soy sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a quarter cup soy sauce because the other recipe has something else that I want to use. So a quarter cup soy sauce. Where's my quarter cup? That's a quarter cup. So I live in Japan but I rarely use soy sauce. I've never actually bought soy sauce before. So this is my first time buying soy sauce. Here's my soy sauce. And there's a quarter cup soy sauce. Okay. Now, the next thing the recipe says is two tablespoons of brown sugar. The other recipe says two tablespoons of brown sugar. That is in agreement. I'm going to go for it, two tablespoons of brown sugar, or what passes for brown sugar here in Japan. And this is my tablespoon. So there's a little more than one. And there's a little less than one. So there's your two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now, one of the recipes wants to add a quarter cup of orange juice. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a quarter cup of orange juice instead of a third cup of soy sauce. So let me get my orange juice out of the fridge. A little bit of brown sugar left in there. Okay. Now a quarter cup of orange juice, so there's my quarter cup of OJ. So I don't know how this is going to taste, it's my first time trying it. Now the next thing I need to do, one of them, one of them says three cloves of minced garlic. The other one says two cloves of minced garlic. Well I'm going to go for three, why not have as much flavor as possible. So there's my minced garlic and my knife skills are not good so I'm calling that minced. <laughs> it's not really minced. Now I've got the brown sugar, the soy sauce, the orange juice, the garlic. Next thing I need a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. The other recipe says a half teaspoon of black pepper. Well, let's go nuts. Let's go for a half teaspoon of black pepper. So this is a combination of both recipes. If you're paying attention to what I'm saying, you can replicate this. Whether you want to or not is up to you. So here is a half teaspoon of black pepper. A little less, so it's between a quarter and a half, but closer to half than to a quarter. Okay, so I got the black pepper, the soy sauce, the orange juice, the brown sugar, the garlic, and the next thing I need, the last thing I need, I need Worcestershire sauce, which is in one of them. One recipe has two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. So let's go for that. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. I have no idea what I'm doing with this fusion. 
there's one teaspoon, there's two teaspoons. This is just a big mix up of all kinds of things, this Frankenstein marinade I'm making. And the last thing is one teaspoon of mustard. And this one says one tablespoon of mustard. This one says one teaspoon of mustard. So I'm gonna go for half a tablespoon of mustard. <laughs> this is Frankenstein. I'm gonna put what I mixed up in the description. Whether it tastes good or not, I will maybe add a comment. So there is my half tablespoon of mustard. And there's my marinade. Oh, I dropped my spoon in. Doesn't matter. Now what you're supposed to do with this after you mix it all up is put it in a resealable bag with your pork chops and let it sit for at least 30 minutes. And it says up to 24 hours. So I'm gonna go for the 24 hours. I'm gonna eat this tomorrow. Yep. So I'm gonna get my pork chops out, or what passes for pork chops in Japan. I don't know if these are even the right size. Maybe those are too big, who knows? Now I am gonna do something that was mentioned to do with chicken. That is to use a fork and, you know, puncture the meat so that um, the marinade suffuses the meat and gets through the meat. I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna puncture the meat with a fork. See what this does. If this helps the marinade get into the meat. Now I've never marinated pork chops really. I've you know put them with lemon juice and barbecue sauce and let them sit in the bowl for a while, but I never really made like a, a marinade recipe. Oh look at that. I'm the messy chef. Someone asked me why I wasn't galloping. So the galloping gourmet, if you know that TV show, you must be as old as I am. So put all that in here. Hopefully I don't spill it on the table. I didn't. Get all the garlic and stuff in there. Okay, that's good enough. And put in my pork chops. There's one. There's two. Is that too much? There's three. There's four. Are these too big for what I made? I'll find out how it tastes. So then just swish it around. No, they're all fairly covered with this. So the main point is not so that they're coated, it's more so that they're full of this flavor. Oh, there's tons of stuff. So that's my marinade, my Frankenstein marinade. I'm gonna throw this up on YouTube. Now you put it in the fridge and you let it sit in the fridge. I'll probably give it a shake once in a while to make sure that the pork chops get covered evenly. And then, you know, I think an hour minimum up until 24 hours so I'm gonna eat this tomorrow and I'll make a video I'll add a second video or something if they come out all right if they taste good I'm very curious to see how these are gonna taste tomorrow anyway into the fridge they go thank you for watching